the mole. A furry little mammal that lives underground. Over 20 different species thrive from around the world, from Africa to North America. Moles live in a variety of different habitats, but they will always look for soil that permits ease of digging and is shaded, cool, moist, and populated by worms and grubs. The eastern mole prefers drier soil in wooded areas in bogs and marshes. This mole is most common across the United States. Moles have thousands of very sensitive tiny hairs on its nose that sense vibrations in the soil. This is how they find food. Large feet and claws act like shovels and are efficient for digging and swimming. Thought by many people to be blind, moles do have eyes, but they are covered by a layer of skin or fur and are sensitive to changes in light level. Moles are active day and night, digging and eating. They are rarely seen on the surface. The only times they may be out of their tunnels is by accident, to dig a hole somewhere else, to find food elsewhere when the soil is dry, or to look for a mate. Mating season is from March to May. Once a male mole finds a female, they mate in the female's burrow. She gives birth to about two to seven pups in a small chamber underground about the size of a football. Once born, the pups are naked and blind. The male will leave the female to take care of them. Moles are solitary animals and mating is one of the only reasons they come together. The pups grow fur after two weeks, and their eyes open after three. They feed on the mother's milk, and after 40 days, the pups separate and go off to make a home on their own. These moles will be alone most of their lives. They may fight with other moles over territory. Fights like these are very brutal and can result in death. The behavior of all species of mole is pretty similar, but they have many key differences. Star-nosed moles live in low parts of Canada and northeastern United States. They prefer moist soil and live in bogs and marshes. Their noses are equipped with a unique star of 22 pink fleshy tentacles. These are ideal for finding food. They are very sensitive and sense vibrations in the soil. By feeling around, the star-nosed mole can track down its prey. Moles are always digging. When plowing through the soil, there is a tremendous amount of energy expended, and so they must eat enough food to sustain this. Moles need to eat every few hours or they will die. They can eat 70% to 100% of their body weight in a single day. <laughs> It consists of insects, grubs, and worms they find in the soil. Most moles, like the eastern and star-nosed moles, are quite numerous and of little concern. However, there are endangered ones. The golden mole thrives in the South African savanna. Living in the sand, it is impossible to dig tunnels, but golden moles have a different tactic. These moles do not hold the large shovel-like hands the eastern and star-nosed moles do. Instead, they have a large, thick, flat head that acts like a shield against the sand, and their smooth fur brushes through the sand easily. This way, the golden mole can swim through the sand. Just like other types of moles, they love insects and detect vibrations in the soil. There are multiple different types of golden moles, including Juliana's golden mole, Grant's golden mole, and the biggest mole of all, the giant golden mole. Many of the golden moles are in danger due to infrastructure. Farms, roads, and mining operations are causing them to lose their habitats. Also, scientists are convinced that moles may not be able to keep pace with climate change among much of their ranges.
Scientists should do more research and spread the word about how they need to be helped. And non-researchers can do things as well. Many people see moles as pests, but they are quite beneficial for soil. They eat insects in the ground, and tunnels make soil healthier because they permit air and water to penetrate deeper into the soil. Spreading word about this can help increase their population. Moles should not be seen as pests, but as fantastic animals.